I am excited to have Division here in the studio. This is our first time meeting. I'm Brianna. So welcome. How you guys feeling? Good. Good thank you. Thank you. That's yes, nice. I'm amazing. I love your song. You guys are killing it right now. Honestly, you guys have been killing it. So I was tapped in with you guys in like 2016. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. So I already know because honestly, my sister and I would like listen to y'all's music all the time. We would just be in our fields because that's just what you guys do. Okay? Shout out to your sister thank too. You. Yes. Yes. So what's been? I'm sure this conversation with this song has been like the hottest topic. What have you guys gotten like the most <laughs> feedback about this song? What did, what did you say was the question? The most feedback so far from this song, from this record. I think people are just like, it's polarizing kind of. Yeah. It's okay. kind of forced people to have to have some conversations that they weren't planning to have. Uh -huh. um, you know, the shock of hearing somebody say something that blatantly just forward, mm. I guess. And I think that honest even, you know, that's what's making it get like, perceived i think as toxic but yeah i don't know, think the song is toxic i think it's just being more so transparent i wouldn't yeah. even say the word toxic would you guys no, no I, yeah. yeah i've i've been saying from day one i'm like yeah. everyone's calling it the toxic anthem and i'm like no this is no. this is the honest anthem yeah this is the honest anthem yeah. and honestly i feel like true because of social media with like tiktok and instagram we have to be a little bit transparent because it's going to be on it, we're gonna find out the T regardless, so you mm -hmm. might as well just be transparent. Do you mm -hmm. feel me on that or mm -hmm. no? Yeah, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. I still, yeah. I still think that the the song is kind of being heard a little wrong mm. on people's first listens. Okay. Um, because most people assume that it's saying things that it's not. Yeah. And um, once I like explain to people what I what what was going into it, they're kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I get it. I understand where the, the music from. video kind of made it like a little. I had to listen to it probably like 50 times. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. So, what is he saying? If I get caught, but then the music video made it sense. So, like, you didn't actually cheat. No, in the it's, video, in the video, I don't. In yeah, the but the girlfriend thought you did just right. based on the way that you were moving and right. that you were out for so long and then your friend left. Right, which brings up the hypothetical yeah. like, you know, if, if that was to happen. Uh huh. You know how how would you react, and then why would you react that way? Right. When underneath it all, a lot of times the reason that people cheat mm -hmm. is not because it's all of a sudden, oh, I, I don't I don't like my person anymore. I'm gonna go cheat. You know, a lot of times it's not what it is. Especially commonly, you hear that more with guys. Yeah. Is it's more of an ego thing, mm -hmm. really underneath it all. Mm -hmm. It's more like, yeah, I was a jerk. I was an idiot. I did some stupid, selfish, self indulgent, over the top you know just about me right things but it's not that i fell out of love with you that's why mm -hmm. a lot of times even in these high profile relationships that we see we see like oh so and so cheated on so and so and you know the women are like how could you like she's <laughs> she's so and so you know she's right. her like look at her and every guy understands because it's like we know it had nothing to do with the girl he could have the mm. exact woman he wants and still do this because internally he's craving whatever ego boost or whatever conquer new thing or whatever uh selfish just moment he had mm -hmm. is what he was after mm -hmm. it had nothing to do with his with his partner mm -hmm. and i feel like this is like the gangster version of confessions <laughs> do you guys agree <laughs> that's i feel dope. like that's the like the i like i like that that's but, the first but, I heard. But confessions took it further confessions was okay. like i got a baby on the way how am i gonna tell her about it we haven't even gotten to the we didn't stage. even cheat but we i'm just excited said, yeah. to see what's that next oh step. yeah yeah no, but the, i do the, think the, it's the, dope because jermaine dupree he wrote confessions and he mm -hmm. also helped write this record yeah. So I just love the correlation between yeah, the two. Yeah, so yeah, what yeah. was in his mindset when that Jermaine, took place? Yeah. Jermaine is really great with this topic. Jermaine yeah, do you, did you guys ever take that through? Like, hold on, wait a second. Are these nah, two? Of he course, this, Jermaine. buy a little secret. Yeah, Jermaine's great with this. Jermaine, yeah. <laughs> Jermaine, doing, Jermaine's <laughs> life and thoughts have helped a lot of us with our playlists. What was the conversation like um, before like writing this record? Because I'm sure it was it Jermaine's experience. Was it him at the strip club? He felt like, okay, let me, because I know he likes to go out and turn up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, so where did, were you guys talking out at the club? Like, we had been talking setting? before the record happened about okay. these type of situations, but one ah. day Jermaine literally as he's opening the door to the studio yeah. he's singing the hook and we we're both like yo what is this so it came like, from I, a conversation and then we had been having these conversations but it was never planned to do a song about it huh. jermaine just kind of did what i think he, one day just hit him he yeah. literally opened the door like that hook is crazy. Mean, I don't love you. and i was like wait 
what did you just say? Yeah. And I was like, that's exactly what I want to say. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yo. And he, he had the idea of, hey, you know how we, I mean, since you're a day one, you know how we've used choirs, female choirs. Sometimes. Yes. He was like, yo, what if this time you, you use guys instead of mm. a female choir to give that yeah. big body chant? But also mm -hmm. to kind of help convey the message that this is a thought that's shared by many mm -hmm. this is a lot of people that relate to this i think that's the one thing that thought. a lot of women don't like is the fact that it's a group of guys yeah all i love that though i think that makes like it cool chanting because, yeah. this one thought so it feels like wait this is more than just an r&b singer saying this this is right. just the everyday man, man. joining oh. in and sharing this and type together. of yeah and i have to ask who are the men on here because um, I heard you have some some OGs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the um, choir. Nelly's on there. Nelly's on okay, there. Nelly. Polo's Don. on there. Polo's on there. So you got a Jermaine lot of royalty singing. checks. Jermaine is singing in there. <laughs> Brian Michael Cox. Cox. Is, she's, she's singing on there. One of our managers, Justice, is singing on there. Yeah. Like, it's a, we just, we wanted it to be like, because if I, if I go sing everything, it's going to sound like sweet and whatever. But if I, if we get a bunch of regular guys, it's going to allow it so that way guys can feel like mm. we can sing along. Or just people can feel like. We can just sing along, like mm -hmm. even you know, we will rock you. Like yeah. everyone feels that they can sing that because it sounds like anybody. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, like I said, the the song, the song from I guess the perspective of JD, mm -hmm. I think he was, I think he was thinking internally, and I think we saw how it related. I think he was like surprised that it even like resonated, because he's like, oh wait, we all feel kind of like this. Yeah. And then when I sat down and wrote wrote the verses, I actually, and this, this is one of the misconceptions, is I actually really was writing it not about a guy that's cheating. It was just about someone dealing in a, in a relationship where your person is now uneasy mm -hmm. and starts to think that maybe you are. Mm. And now all the things that they were initially into is what's made them insecure. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, oh, you were attracted to the fact that I was... I dressed well. Now it's where you're getting dressed up to go. So I wanted to talk about that because I feel like when you're in a relationship, <laughs> yes, we are attracted to that. Mm -hmm. We like that. Mm -hmm. But when you're with us, then it's like, okay, you can Tone calm down. down just a little bit. You right. Know so why, do I have to, why do I have to <laughs> mute myself? <laughs> not why mute. can't I be great? Just don't be so flirty. I'm not going like, to be, I'm not, okay, right. I'm flirty to put on my clothes and, and just talk. You to, know how you speak you to women. Oh, my so, you know how so you feel anymore. Look, look at you right so, now. You're okay. very interactive. You have a, a, a bright personality. Thank you. I, uh, people was to come into the room with you, they'd probably, yeah. you know, feel like they can talk to you. Right. Now, all of a sudden, a guy dates you. He's like, listen, can you stop being so, like, nice with men? I have had that. Yeah. And and is that, that's that not very fair. for me. And but the, the person okay, who is. <laughs> so what are we talking about here? The person, but the person who is meant for me is going to understand this is a job. This is what I'm supposed to. This is what I was hired to do. But this but is also a natural. Understand. This is that's, natural. That's this is natural. You're not yeah. making this up. I can no, tell that. No, this is literally. He knows. So, okay. So <laughs> yeah. why can't you be who you were? Now, I'm not saying that means go home with a guy. That means yeah. hand out your number to every guy that asks you. That's uh -huh. not what I mean. Uh -huh. But, you know, I, you can still be yourself. Hmm. And that's why I was like, look, I was charismatic when you got here. I was, a fl I was fly when you got here. I was saying all these things because it's like. But you don't got to wear that haircut with them sweatpants. Oh, my <laughs> God. With them sweatpants. <laughs> The sweatpants kill him. The sweatpants it's the kill him. Sweatpants yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but any, so, but yeah. you, you loved it. when you met me. You were like, oh, right. I love you. I love when you wear those pants. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, so don't anyhow, wear them out. Just so, <laughs> so all of yeah. that is what le led to you know. Right now she's digging through phones. Now you, you're checking the Instagram. You're, you know, the laptops, all that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So. It's now created a situation where it's like, wait, okay, why, why are we doing this? Are you, are you looking for a, a reason to fight or are you looking for a reason to leave? Mm -hmm. And if the reason is to leave, it's like, why do you want to leave when even if hypothetically I did this, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be for the reason that I don't love you. It would probably just be because I went and did some stupid, dumb, yeah. egotistical things. But it's not because I don't. It's not that. Right. You know, and that's what the song is really saying. So so what are you guys saying? Like, what's the outcome of this situation? Because obviously... The outcome has not The outcome is this. Is this, the, the conversation Yeah, piece. because... Okay. And, and the album's in the story. Yeah, these mm. things happen. But okay. it's what le what leads up to this point, what yeah. happens after this point, mm -hmm. and even in the moment, how are you going to deal with that? Like, what like what needs to be said? What needs yeah. to be discussed? Yeah. And I think that's why there's I, so much back and forth with mm -hmm. the record. 
Yeah, and I feel like in R and B records specifically, you don't have these conversations where we're talking about these things because honestly, you just listen to the record, you're vibing to it. Mm -hmm. And I love R and B right now, and I love old R and B. I just love what it's becoming, and I love what you guys have been doing because you guys like really have been creating this beautiful space. And now, so I I feel like a lot of conversations with this, with music in particular, come with like hip hop. So we're like mm-hmm. going back and forth about this record and this, mm-hmm. but then with this one, it's like. Hold on, Division has, have y'all heard this one? Have you guys talked about, you know, now you guys are just like opening just a bigger, I guess, what am I trying to one say? One thing I did realize with this record is with a lot of cheating songs in the past, yeah, the artist is speaking to the person they're cheating with. Yeah. That's and that I'm... makes it more okay to the listener. Oh, okay. This time we're speaking to who might be cheated on. Mm. And I think that touches a different nerve. Also, okay. most songs, the, the other thing about cheating songs, I think, is people usually make the whole song the whole story. So they try to put in the, ooh, baby, I'm sorry moment yeah, kind of in the same song. Whereas this was literally, this is the moment of ego. Yeah, This is that. This is it right here. This is all the things that surround that moment. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it's stroking my ego, hurting yours, having enough ego to even say something this ballsy. Yeah. You know, whatever it is, is it's all in this moment. What happens next is the other songs. Mm-hmm. And that's coming next in the story. So yeah. it's like, you know, you guys just kind of have to wait and catch the I feel the like rest Tristan needs to play this wow. out loud. Wow. No comment. Tristan Thompson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but I have a question. Have you guys ever cheated and actually, like, told your significant other, like, hey, I cheated. I'm just being transparent with you. Um, I was caught cheating. I didn't, I didn't go back to the person like, hey, I cheated is what what happened. So she found out. Yeah. I had, I kind of had both where it was like, they saw each other, Mm -hmm. got into a whole thing, started actually started fighting in the middle of the street. And I had to sit down afterwards with the both of them and air my whole life out to them. That's a lot. It was a lot. Okay. So how do we avoid these situations? Just telling them up front, you think? I think it's don't, don't cheat. cheat. <laughs> yeah, but I think but I just feel like to... men are going to cheat. You don't. Are you not always? Are you okay with always. a guy coming to you and being like, "I would love to talk to other women, but you're"? you're I've had had that before. And how and do you, you feel about that? We're not together. So the, <laughs> and this is the point because you're <laughs> you, as a, no as guy. a woman, you're asking us right. uh-huh. how do we avoid it? Right. But a guy tried to avoid that, and you were like, "No." Nah. Yeah, the reason. But why I also it... thought that he was in the closet as well. So there was some other. Wow. Oh, there were some different things. Wow. <laughs> That's really okay, okay. So what? So I, I was like, are so you what? Okay. Be a girl or a guy? <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, but okay. Could I? Yeah. Could I come to you yeah. and say? Could I come to you and say, "Hey, listen, uh-huh. I love our vibe. I think you're beautiful. We love everything that we have together. Uh-huh. I don't want to live my life without you. I want you to be it. Mm-hmm. I." And being honest, and I'm telling you, I'm going to do my absolute best to not mess up. Right. But if I do, I want you to know that literally. You will let me know. I will be as transparent as I can be. Uh-huh. If you want me to keep it away from you, I'll do whatever, what, yeah. however you want to deal with it. I can't tell you I'm never going to fall. But even if I do, it's not going to be because I don't want you anymore. Mm-hmm. I, I love you. Could you deal with that? And I feel the same way with that. I thought and you were going to feel the same to... way about you. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and no, I'm saying because we're acting right now. This is acting. <laughs> okay, cool. So, yes, I, I agree. I feel you. Right. But then there is a another potential person who feels the same way about me. So how do you feel if, yes, I love you and I want to be with you, but I might want to dabble in this guy over here? Right. So what if a guy doesn't does not want you to do that? Could you do that? I don't want and you I to just, be with anybody else. I just want to, I want to be with you yeah. and I'm going to do my best. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be a thousand percent. What but do I'm, I get out of this situation? You get your best, Cheating, a best, man. a best friend, <laughs> someone who supports you, loves you, does whatever you want to do. But I'm, I have a best friend for that. So you're mean? down for it if there's reciprocity. It has to be across the board is what you're it saying. It has to be across the board. So you Something. have to be able to, to see, have, uh, you yeah. have to be able to see other men. Maybe. Or just feel like it's not one-sided. Yeah, just feel like, because I, because I first of all I don't cheat so for me I just the idea of just maybe just letting you know that that's a possibility and you being okay I'm like okay so he's cool with it there's another way to think about it I mean I don't know I've okay. never been in that situation I'm just trying would to be, be open-minded would you be open to the situation if the guy was like 
All right, cool. Like, to be honest, I'm very, like, I'm young, but I'm very old school in that situation where, like, I don't want to even think about my man cheating. Mm -hmm. Especially I've been in a situation where I thought he was cheating on me with another man. So, crazy. like, in this situation, it's like, what do you do? I've been through a lot, so, mm -hmm. so I don't know. I feel like at this point, is love even a thing? Men? <laughs> Huh? Was it the fact that it was possibly men? Why you were like? I think I can't that was like the, the the bigger. The bigger so thing. It had it been yeah. women, would you have been? If it more had been women, I think we could have had like maybe therapy or a conversation. Have you guys tried therapy with relationships? I've, I've, I've done therapy. I haven't. I haven't were you been in a relationship for therapy? I haven't done relationship therapy. Oh, I haven't I'm, done relationship therapy. I've talked to my therapist about relationships. Okay, I feel like relationship therapy might figure that out for us, <clears throat> versus us figuring it out ourselves because we are not professionals in this and nobody really knows the answer so your answer to this question is undetermined you don't yeah know. it's kind of like depends a, on the guy it depends on the man okay and how long we've been doing doing this. what you're doing yeah it's not like okay we just started talking like a week ago we're no, together no, you know no, like no. those but situations then again think yeah. about what yeah, you just said he comes into it yeah that's that. what i'm saying think that's about that how many women that want, want honesty then it seems like front. he's just all over the place yeah, and this, he is might, this is what women are asking for guys to tell the truth and then killing us when we do so that's why a lot of guys don't say the truth. No, I want you to tell me the truth, and I want to have that conversation. <laughs> I said facts. Someone said facts in the back. I'm not going to no, point them I out. No, want, I want transparency from the jump. That's really what I you want. You don't. You just I said do, don't tell you from week one. He <laughs> can't get you this way. <laughs> this is what you were trying to tell you guys. You're making it hard for us. How are you making it hard? Because we can't tell you the truth. Do you and really get feel you. that way? Yes, men you, feel you this way. You just said okay. if he tells you that to begin with, you're just going to think he's all over the place. Well, when if like How do he I get comes the girl into the that situation, I, want? I feel like he's already messing around with a bunch of girls and I just STDs are a real thing and I'm just real good on that. So that's the only reason why from the jump. But I feel like if we were dating and things are going really well and we've been together for a few years and we're knowing each other. Yeah, a few years. So years and then, in is when he can, you can tell you. Then we can years. have a conversation. So, because so you don't want transparency within two years. Got it. Two years, then you want transparency. <laughs> I am okay, putting that, myself that's in, fine. Lying in the hole here. Y'all just be <laughs> the hole. <laughs> like, hold on. <laughs> I mean, what about you guys? If your girlfriend told you that she was okay well, with. If she's my girlfriend, hopefully I would know this. Okay, but what if she did it? And then later on, a year later, and she's like, hey. this is what we're saying, the transparency, transparency. But would you guys be okay? Earlier. So, okay, so early on, you guys meet a girl. Yeah. And she's like, you know what? I The same thing, you, the same situation. Right. How would you feel? If someone was to come to me and say, hey, I want to be with you, but I need to see other men too. Yes. Yeah, I, I, me personally, I wouldn't want that. I would just want to know up front, and then I can decide. I don't want to know after yeah, we've already saying, been Yeah, but I'm asking. Yeah. Maybe. If it works, yeah. like if that's where I'm at. I feel I'm, like it's very normalized in the industry versus like on, like my mom's not doing this. In the you industry. know what I mean? Huh? I said I think nothing's normal industry. in the industry. But I feel like it's normalized somewhat that open relationships are a thing because a lot oh, of these. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's a little bit more interesting. Yeah. In the industry. So who would you say cheats more between like a stripper, a baller, a singer? Or what's the I don't other think one? Has anything to do Shippers, with ballers, singers, or rappers? I'm just curious. This is just a question. If I was to guess, yeah, who has a higher percentage of? Cheating? And I'm just saying these are all people within our industry with money. So if we're taking the money us, out of the equation, I have no answer. I have no answer because you're asking me to dirty Mac or dry snitch, and I can't do that. Come on, so that's a safe I had a, response. I had a down. That's a safe response out of all of them. I can't. I can't. Well, okay, but what about between women and men? Who cheats more? I think it's pretty equal. It's statistically, it's actually equal. We actually talked to somebody who did the numbers, who's done numbers on their studies. It is equal. Hmm. They said that equally. Do you guys do you, believe that, though? Yeah. Do I think you, it's Do possible. some of your girls cheat? What? Do some of your girls cheat? No. no from but, from my knowledge, I don't. they haven't but told girls me. Don't, yeah, but girls are better at it right but they my girls really like i have friends that are married i have friends who've been in relationships married for a very long women, time married most. women are getting it in okay well I, my friends aren't doing that okay i, I, I hope not i have friends who <laughs> are married or who are in like relationships and have said oh yeah he's cute but not pursued yeah and i think that that's just the thing so like, you don't believe okay. that women are cheating as much no as men. i do believe women are cheating for no, sure no as much as men i'm saying but i don't believe just you know no not as much as men because mm. i have a lot of guy friends and the pretty much why, all have cheated the reason yeah but women but a lot they, of women are not going to be even open that alone about, is like are they all that. cheating with single women do you women? think that wait what are all of these guys cheating with single women are all the guys cheating with single women yeah because if guys are always cheating yeah, who are they cheating actually, with yeah actually single women 
But does not the like the numbers don't even make sense. If guys are always cheating and they're always cheating with single women, everybody is single. So who's getting cheated on? But the guys aren't the guys aren't single though. They're in no, relationships. No, no but he's saying but the girls. He's saying if the numbers are equal, equal number of men are oh, relationships. Oh, I get what you're Equal saying. number of women. Are okay. Like like just by the numbers alone, somebody is not studies. telling the, the truth. The, we did a whole thing with a sex therapist. He has a, like a, leading into the song, uh-huh. and she said, yeah, there's, I'm dumb. There's just so they many tell me what they're not telling the you guys. Women, women that are never doing it. Just, the... And women are way better and way just. So you're saying women are sneaky? A For thousand sure. percent way more, uh, way more capable of being. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. Don't look at me like that. that. <laughs> you, were, you, know, you, know what, you know what the proof is? <laughs> you know what What's the, the proof? truth? You know what the proof is? The proof, okay. the the proof of okay. that is, is simply that's how women always find out when their guys are cheating because you guys know every last detail to look for. So now you know exactly what to do to not be I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like it's you guys because no, you try, all are doing it. We, we screw up all the time. That's guys aren't really hiding They're that much. They're not that great. Women are women No, but you are blame de- you blame Batman. the women for doing things that you guys are already doing, and blame that's the problem. What? what do you mean by that? Because that's what my ex would do. He was such a narcissist, and he would just be like, "No, narcissists do that." Yes, not all men are narcissists. But in Virgos, we'll talk about zodiac mm. signs. Mm. <laughs> like, you, you got yourself a special one. So with this particular person, he would blame me for everything he was doing, but like I was just going to work or I would be at an event you know we Bring have industry out. events and he'd be like oh you're out with those men taking pictures with their, your hand and I'm like okay and oh you mean like the cheating guy yeah. was oh, yeah, yeah people that cheat I think end up projecting sometimes mm-hmm. they end up like getting insecure they know what they're doing but why don't worried. they ever just be honest about it? You already said you, you just, don't want him to be honest. You just told so us why. But I did. I said if you, I even you said. He can't keep you. said you. if he had told you that. He can't I keep even you. Said, I even said, this ain't about, about me at the end of the day. But I even told him, long story short, I said, if and you are. And this yeah, and I said that. I said, if you and are dating men, too. I'd just rather you be transparent. Did, you, did he tell you he was dating men? I know it. Everybody so else you went did. To your oh, other said people did. Other men, people did. Like they said they know it, or they said they. They think said that. they know it. Oh, okay, yeah. So they said this to you before you started dating him. After. And then when you we just came up. to your boyfriend. And you're like, hey, I've heard you're dating yeah. men. I was like, that this is your last already opportunity. Already sounds like the the trust lines are gonna be. So you just think how to avoid this is from the jump. Just be transparent. Be honest from. Day one. I think, but I, I don't think that was a safe space for that guy. Yeah. I think my, that's the key word. If your girl comes to you and thinks you're dating men and you're not even ready to like admit that, whether you are or not, you're not then going to tell that person. Not only are you cheating, <laughs> but it's also <laughs> this other big secret that I have. <laughs> that's right? a lot. Yeah. So well, I, think that, that I think that's, that's, that's real therapy. That's what I said. I, no, think no. That the, I, think that the, I think that the safe space is the key. I think that people, and this is what I, part of the reason why we led with this song. We used to play this record, pile people in Jermaine Dupri's studio and, and play this song for people and play the, this song amongst other songs for people. And even though people would have like, oh, this is my favorite, oh, this one does this. This song made everyone argue, yell, and talk Yeah. for like an hour straight every time we played it for groups of people. Mm-hmm. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to create a conversation that hopefully not only progresses, you know, the culture, but progresses the relationship, humans in general, because I think that we both don't create safe spaces for one another to really be who we are when no one's looking. Mm-hmm. Are you just saying in our community or just in general? Like this in is general, for in our community, world. especially in the world of relationships. But, yeah. I think this goes to, yeah, it's I not just only black guys and black girls singing this song. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, 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 everyone. it's everybody right now. Yeah. You know? Yeah, this is it's so crazy to me that this conversation comes from like just one song. So like, what's the next one? I can't tell you, but it's or what, what is the it's, music it's video happens, look like it, from it, this it, too? It, is it like just is it add on to the first one or it's, it's like a, a sequel? Whole thing is a story, huh? So a lot gets revealed. Definitely, yeah. stay tuned. To it. Definitely, um, you know, watch watch our socials so we can tell you guys when it's <laughs> coming and stuff like that. But um. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, the first joint, you got some ego, you know, let's, where does your ego get you now? Mm. You know, this is. What was the feedback two. from Drake? Did you Honestly, guys have a conversation with him? we've been going nonstop since the song came out. Yeah. He's been doing OVO Fest, which is, I think, now happening tomorrow. Uh-huh. And we literally dropped the record and have been doing a infinite press run <laughs> yeah and honestly the feedback from women you guys posted one girl that i just watched it over and over she was so good i don't know her name she had like chanel earrings on 
What did she do? She posted it. She did like her version. Oh, a girl rebuttal. Oh, yeah, okay. she was yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch yeah, of Yeah, we've had some yeah. fire responses. Yeah. They're, they're coming in every and day. And the women are saying way crazier way things. Way crazier things. <laughs> and he, and, and that's, that's another great part. That's another great part that I want to point out. Yeah. Not only does this song show a lot of the double standards in men, but it shows a lot of the hypocrisies in women with these rebuttals hmm. because girls are actually pulling up and saying, I'm going to sleep with your friend. I'm going to do this. Oh, when I'm going to cheat. I'll cheat cheating? back too. Yeah. Oh, I'm, no. I'm going to cheat back. I'm going to do all these things, but it's like, okay, cool. Now the women are like, yes, bitch, yes, <laughs> and these are all the women. That talk apparently that don't talk. Cheat. And I'm like, wait, you guys just had a problem <laughs> with cheating for two seconds ago. Yeah. So but it's now amazing. Cheat, it's only okay <laughs> if it's from them. So I think it's I think it's dope. I think that that's yeah. what's that is what is the song is is intended for and and even exceeding our expectation because it's like it's making a whole bunch of conversations that hopefully just end us up at a better place or a more open place mm-hmm. to at least start where mm-hmm. we start talking about things properly. If they have to use our song as a reference when they meet somebody, hey, you ever heard that song? So what do you think? <laughs> You know, what are your thoughts on that? If that can be the start point and people can mm-hmm. actually have healthy relationships moving forward, forward yeah. that's great. Because this album is really about growth. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, so with this record, I mean, you have females speaking out and singing now too with it. So do you feel like you would have another version come out with a woman? And have you thought about if who it right would be? If the girl was to, you know, present something or we could figure out a, a, a dope way to flip it, you know, we're, we're always open to that. Yep. I mean, we weren't going into this like, this is only for the men. You yeah, know. but now look at what it's become yeah, of. So has it's... there ever just been a thought? Yeah, now that we're seeing yeah. girls do it, it's like people cool keep asking for the remix, for and I think remix. if we did it, it should be a wound, probably. Oh yeah, if we did one, I mean, unless we do multiple ones, if it gets you know to that place, you know, mm-hmm. it's dope that it's you know we found out earlier this week that it's the it's the most added song Urban Radio. Urban radio. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> you know, if it gets there and we can do multiple remixes, that'd be dope. You know, let yeah. some guys come and really get get their stories off right and let the girls tell us their perspective on it as well you know Mm -hmm. um but i guess we just got to see what where it takes us but have you been cheated on before first of all hold on you didn't answer my question (laughs) is there any like r&b artist or rapper female artist that you would see on the remix i just wanted there's so many there's so many they're all there's so many we like all them but we can manifest at least one and see maybe would you want to hear oh i love this truthfully i would love my girl sweetie you mm. knew it. <laughs> I would love Sweetie. Mm-hmm. I would love Ruby. Interesting. Ruby, Ruby Rose. Rose. Oh, okay. I think she needs to. She deserves her flowers and uh, Orlando and Megan. So you see, so you see a female rapper. Either of those, yeah, female rapper you for don't sure. Wanna, you wouldn't want to see. I don't want to see. Okay. We have enough of those on records. I want to hear females. I want this to be like. I want to hear their version of this on it, or a their their version. take. Their a take. Rapper. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. Do you agree? Is there any out of those four you would see? If any, or right here? If any of them reached out to do yeah. one. Sweetie, I got, mean. Is Sweetie your homie? I mean, yeah. At this point, I've interviewed her so many times. Yeah, there you go. How yeah. And she's single, and she's been through a lot. So yeah, I just feel like, and so has Ruby. Her mm-hmm. response is going to be, like, true from the heart, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, as long as somebody, that's that would be the key. Right. Whoever we feel like could come the truest, mm-hmm. as far as, like, their perspective and experience yeah. would probably be the one that would be like, that's perfect. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. But and we're you, open for whatever. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Maybe, sweetie. <laughs> Your question, you said, you were asking me a question. Have I ever been, been cheated, cheated on? on? No. That I know of. Oh. But we already had that conversation. No. We don't, I, he could have been cheating on me with someone. With a guy. Could have been a guy, girl. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't, You've they never, never told found, me. You never, mm-hmm. okay. Nor have I wanted to. Hmm? How do you think you would react to that? I think we would just have to have a conversation and see. I mean, truthfully, who wants to be hurt? Especially if you're putting a lot but of love and effort. But it's not like, we're done. It's, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. There. I think that's important, you know? Like, I come from a home where my parents got a divorce, and that mm-hmm. took a toll on the kids. Luckily, I don't have any children right now, so that mm-hmm. doesn't have to be into play. But if it were, especially like a family already, that's something that I would definitely have a conversation with before just bouncing, because that takes a toll on just not, mm-hmm. not just you and that person, but the family. Right. What do you guys sure. think? I think the same. Have I you think. been cheated on? I have. I, you have? I'm, I'm kind of mm-hmm. the same with you where, like, I think, but I don't know. I didn't really get the hard evidence. Like I said, you guys are <coughs> sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you think that we're sneaky? You, every women, come on, guys. I think there's certain zodiac signs that no, are sneaky. No, all, every don't do that. Last don't, don't zodiac your way out of this one. Yeah, don't horoscope your way out of this one. 
<laughs> what, are, what is your sign? Scorpio. A Scorpio? Cancer. And a Cancer. Oh, interesting. I like and that. you're a Leo, right? I'm a Leo, right. yeah. So we're just the best. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh my god. Um but yeah, so this is very exciting. I can't wait to hear this album or more, mm-hmm. like new music yeah, yeah, driving yeah. that you won't tell me about. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. But maybe we will set up something where you can hear something before it comes out. That would be amazing. So yeah. is Jermaine a part of this yeah, entire he's project? A part, he's a part of the he's part of the the overall album for sure. Okay. Yeah. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody else that's going to be a part of the project? Uh not from a I mean, Beacox, him and Beacox, Beacox they're, they're the main. We did some stuff with Sean Garrett. Okay. Producers, um, but oh yeah, and the Sean Garrett one is Boy Wonder. No, Boy Wonder, yeah. Right. Mm. Um, but as far as features, that's kind of the last piece that we have to figure out right now. Okay. A couple songs, but a couple open verses that we're gonna have to send to some people soon. Yeah. Um, and then once that's done, we're pretty much done the album. Okay. That's exciting. Yeah. So we think like the end of this year or before the yeah, end of the year. Like a couple, couple months. Like okay. You know what's so funny? I never knew what you guys looked like when I was first listening to your songs. A lot of people said that. Like too we deep. Posting, How long we was it before you 2016. Like, probably like a year ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. I just never. It was during the era I feel like with like Bryson and all that. Everybody's mm-hmm. like all secretive mm-hmm. and like her. And you guys didn't show your face. And then the covers, yeah, it was yeah. like purple or it something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was never so showing pictures of us. Yeah. It's nice to like finally meet you guys. Mm-hmm. Are you yeah. on tour right now? No. No. We're going to tour after the after the album. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm excited. Please invite me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, but is there anything that we haven't touched on that you guys would want to let me know? Some hmm. more tea, some more, more tea. cheating what, what do you scandals. Want tea on? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Just anything. Merch dropping. I have no I mean all that stuff is coming. Everything. Crazy dating stories. Every, I don't no, know something. No. All the all those stories are in the album. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here <laughs> Not we go. fun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so he gives, the, he gives the, the great producer answers. Yeah, I know. From. Seriously. <laughs> what is up with this? Go. <laughs> That's good, though. That's awesome. Well, I'm excited. Hopefully, we can get, like, a Drake feature or something. I love that about you guys, though, too, how, like, even though you are signed to Drake, that's not, like, you're not, like, asking for handouts. It's definitely been something that it just, it feels and looks like from the ground up you guys have been doing and from yeah. Toronto, yeah. which I have a homie, John River. Do you guys know who that is? Oh, yeah. Oh. He's from Toronto. Yeah, I know very well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. that's my homie. So when I first started coming up, like, in my radio career, oh, him and cool. I were both coming up, and he's Crazy. been through a lot yeah. as you know but yeah he's from toronto and he would put me on to a lot of different artists mm. i don't know if he put me on to you guys but i've definitely been on how, very how long. did you hear about us first do you remember probably like twitter or something mm. i don't remember it's been so long i mean 2016 we grown now we grown but <laughs> that's, well, that's exciting so i'm excited to see what more you guys have in store and pleasure seeing you thank you for having yeah, us thanks <laughs>